to the state of the nation now, last week we, report, we reported on the controversy that surrounded prophet jerome after he made several blasphemous statements regarding buddhism this got a massive backlash from the buddhist community in this country as we all know the self-proclaimed prophet jerome managed to flee to singapore and has uh, and since then has apologized to each and everyone who ha who was hurt by his statements now, in that uh, segment last week, we talked about another individual, a Zimbabwean televangelist called Prophet Ubert Angel. Mind you, he is a self-proclaimed prophet, just like Prophet Jerome. The reason, reason why we keep bringing up Prophet Ubert Angel in this conversation about Prophet Jerome. Now, a recent investigative documentary by Al Jazeera exposed how Prophet Ubert Angel smuggled Zimbabwe's gold out of the country in an elaborate scheme of cleaning black money worldwide. Watch. You want to just get gold. There are the other deals that we normally do with the people, like the one we did in Dubai, where they also want to invest in gold and buy gold. Maybe send a private jet, pick picks up gold every week. That's perfect. No, that's okay. Let's do it, bro. Hundred kilos every hundred kilos every week. Oh, they're taking hundred kilos every week. Okay. Okay. But why? How many? They're getting it at less four percent. The world. They're getting it at less four percent. The world. Yeah. Mr. Stanley is being offered to buy the gold at a 4% discount. They're saying it's very good price. I think you should have said less 3%. <laughs> Definitely. You should have said less 3%. <laughs> it was a mistake in the, in the language that was released. Well, that was a, a small portion uh, from the investigative documentary uh, by Al Jazeera, which is called Gold Mafia. I think uh, right now there are around four episodes of it. You really should watch it. Now, this is not the first scam that uh, Prophet Uber Angel was involved in. His first issue with the law was when he got caught uh, with two passports in 2021. The birth dates on these two passports, one British and one Zimbabwean, are different. Not only that, but there are also questions about Ubert Angel's academic qualifications, with evidence pointing to the fact that some of his degrees are fake. The United States uh, State Department of Justice, uh, through an operation called Gold Seal, flagged Ubert Angel's Bachelor of Business Administration degree obtained from St. Regis University as fake. A sting operation uh, Gold Seal busted a massive internet-based business from the city of Spokane in the U.S., selling over 10,000 fake credentials to over 9,500 uh, individuals in 131 countries. And Sri Lanka is included in that. There are apparently four individuals who has taken uh, um, degrees from this fake university. And this university, by dishing out fake uh, uh, degrees, has raked in over $7.3 million. Now, despite this, Uber Angel became a very wealthy individual with various dealings made via multiple businesses. He has several television and radio stations worldwide, and with his flamboyant presence, he managed to infiltrate the political circle of the Zimbabwean government. The current president of Zimbabwe awarded him the presidential envoy and ambassador at large for the country of Zimbabwe to Europe and the Americas, allowing him to engage in uh, several more shady dealings. Uber Angel has been to Sri Lanka several times at the invitation of Prophet Jerome. It needs to be clear, uh, cl clarified rather, whether there was any support from Uber Angel himself financially to Prophet Jerome. Despite there, ha uh, there have been, been no concrete evidence thus far, many on social media began to question how Prophet Jerome's newfound wealth, where he effect, uh, erected a massive building titled Miracle Dome, very close to the airport, came from. On one of his visits to Sri Lanka, Prophet Uber Angel engaged in this thing called miracle money scam, making money appear in people's wallet. I don't know. Uh, some did uh, with uh, 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 reloads on your phone and some did with money. So what they do is they basically say, by the power of God, I'm going to put money into your wallet and voila, the money appears or reloads appear on your phone. 
Uh, later, a person who took part in that event wrote on his Facebook page uh, saying that the whole thing was arranged as they have collected the bank account details of several members before the service and transferred the funds during the service. Obviously, now it is very evident when you look at those entire services that was uh, taking place. Anyhow, in March of this year, I'll, um, the documentary which we just showed, um, showed that Uber Angel was uh, abusing his diplomatic privileges to run a global money laundering operation. The operation involves black money being funneled to Zimbabwe through Angel and traded for gold from mines of Zimbabwe, the gold which uh, could then be sold again for clean money. Now, soon after the documentary, the Zimbabwean government stripped Uber Angel of all the titles provided by the president and an active investigation is currently underway. Not only uh, there, but here also it's the same. Let's get uh, more insight into this. Uh, joining me now from Harare, Zimbabwe, is Zimbabwe's policy coordinator general, uh, former parliamentarian and economist Eddie Cross. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for being here. Really appreciate it. Now, what exactly are you all trying to do uh, in terms of uh, this investigation? It looks like Uber Angel has been using state assets, uh, Zimbabwean state assets, for personal benefit. What does the Zimbabwean government think about this? Mahesh, this matter has been receiving <clears throat> a high level of attention since the Al Jazeera disclosures. And I think what the government was concerned about here was the brashness of the whole thing and his claims to have direct access to the president and to have the, have the senior members of the Zimbabwean government involved in what he was doing. And I think that he was very foolish uh, to make those statements because um, a commission, a a committee has been formed inside the cabinet to examine what was what was going on, and they have decided to take fairly strong action against the individuals who were most prominent in the Al Jazeera disclosures. Indeed. Uh, now, uh, Prophet Uber Angel has been to Sri Lanka several times, and uh, here he engaged uh, with an individual called Prophet Jerome Fernando. Do you think certain matters need to be investigated in relevance to the shady dealings between these two individuals? And have you discovered, uh, discovered any information about his dealings in Sri Lanka? We were not aware of that. Um, we know that he's been pretending, uh, you know, he's a charlatan. Um, he's by no means a, a good representation of the Christian church. And I think he's used the church as a as a cover, um, and I think that he it's very exploitative, and uh, and I think that uh, although that's not really an issue that's been of concern to the Zimbabwean government, I think it's something that we as as citizens of Zimbabwe should actually be be concerned. And he's clearly built a network across the world, which he is using. Um, and is using this as a cover for what he's actually been doing. But what he's been doing is illegal, and it's, uh, and in fact, it's exploitive. Indeed. Uh, all right, we have to leave it at that. Uh, thank you very much. That was Zimbabwe's policy coordinator, general and economist, uh, and former parliamentarian, Eddie Cross. A short break now. I'll be back with the close.